Sky Kids, your attention, please. I'm Stormy Warren. Welcome to class. This is George Strait 101. Just for reference, this is the indisputable king of country music, George Strait. Just over a year ago, at AT&T Stadium in the heart of Texas, over 104,000 people packed this stadium for an unforgettable night of music, capping off his historic The Cowboy Rides Away tour. Record-setting ticket sales, less than an hour this place was sold out, breaking the record for an indoor live concert performance, a record previously held by the Rolling Stones. No one in attendance or the millions who watched on TV will forget that night, including his friends who shared the stage with the King, Martina McBride, Faith Hill, Vince Gill, Cheryl Crow, Eric Church, Jason Aldean, Kenny Chesney, Miranda Lambert, Alan Jackson, and Ray Benson. But long before George put a cap on his touring career, he carved a swath through the music industry, a path decorated with staggering milestones. How about 40 studio albums, including compilations and holiday records, nearly 70 million albums sold, over 60 number one hits, over 80 top 10 hits. Songwriter, entertainer, artist, rodeo cowboy, sport fisherman, golfer, and yes, even movie star. How can we forget Dusty from Pure Country? An album that resulted in one of the most popular and successful movie soundtracks in movie and music history. Pure Country soundtrack sold over six million copies. Don't take my word for it. Take a look. You know, I was walking through the offices of MCA Records looking at the gold records on the wall, thinking, man, I just would, if I could just have one of those, you know, it was just a dream. Every time I go in the studio, I want to make the best album that I've ever done in my life. So you always, you know, are searching for those songs to try to make that happen. I didn't want to just have one record or two records, you know. I wanted to be making records now like I am, you know, 30 years from then. It's not a formula that I can, you know, say this is how you do it. I just I just know know a song that fits me when I hear it. To present the special achievement award to George Strait, here is Alan Jackson. Academy of Country Music wants to honor Mr. George Strait with this Gene Weed Special Achievement Award for 50 number one singles and great songs they were. Congratulations. Those songs that I've recorded over the years, I mean, they're a huge part of me. I mean, they are me. You know, that's, that's what I do. That's, you know, that's what I've done for, since forever, it seems like, you know, so they're who I am. I've been fortunate to have a lot of great things happen in my career and been able to play some big, big shows. Who gets to do that? See, you know, you can't take that for granted. I mean, that's just so special. And, and it's hard to describe to anybody what that feels like because it's just big. When I'm sitting in my old rocking chair, can't hardly move around or anything, you know, years from now, just, you know, play me that live record of somewhere, you know, where I can hear that crowd again because it's like nothing else. You know, I had my heroes, Merle Haggard, George Jones, Bob Wills, Conway, you know, all those guys. And to think that somebody looks at me the way I looked at that, at the, those guys, you know, it makes me feel really good. The entertainer of the year is George Strait. <laughs> George Strait. My buddy George Strait. Check yes or no. Troubadour, George Strait. George Strait. George Strait. And the CMA Award for Entertainer of the Year goes to George Strait. What? Oh my gosh. Never in a million years. Thank you so much. Um, wow. Um, thank you to the CMA. I mean, this blows me away. I, I, I just can't not believe it. Thank you so much. This means the world to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
Two words to define George Strait, consistency and integrity. Not only as just an artist and an entertainer and a songwriter who's amassed virtually every award imaginable many numerous times, including his 2006 induction into the Country Music Hall of Fame, but also consistency and integrity at home as a father, a husband, and a family man. King George may have hung up his bus keys for good, but that does not mean he is done playing country music. He loves it way too much. And that's why we're headed straight to Vegas.